All right, guys, so in today's video, we're actually going to be working on my girlfriend's sister's car. Her name's Kylie, and as you can see right here, it's a 2015 Nissan Altima. So it's just a newer year of what my girlfriend has. Um, we're going to be switching out the, we're actually going to be switching out these little side lights right here with some new ghost lights, which look like this. It'll actually have the Nissan logo. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It'll actually have the Nissan logo underneath her door when she opens it up. So that'll be really cool. And then she's already got LEDs inside right here, but in the back, you can see they're the old ones. So we're gonna go ahead and switch those out. And then back here, she has the old style bulb in her trunk. And then her license plate lights aren't on, but we're gonna go ahead and switch those out too. So this will kind of be like how my girlfriend's car was, because I mean, it's a Nissan Altima, so it's the same thing. They're just a little bit different because of the years. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through that really quick. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and do the ghost light. So here's what the package looks like. We actually just got these off wish.com. I think they were maybe like 10 bucks. I don't even know, they were really cheap. Um, so we'll, we'll just test this product and see how it works. We'll see how long the LEDs last inside of them. So here's what it looks like. So as you can see, it looks exactly like that. It just got like this little laser on the bottom of it that projects the Nissan logo. So let's go ahead and we'll take off our old one. So let me sit down right here. So this is really easy. You can just do it by hand. You'll just pull from the back side and then pop down from the front, just like that. So then the bulb will be hanging down and then you can just pull this clip out. Okay, so now I got it out. I had to stop the film because I had to use both hands to pull the clip out. So here's what it looks like. The camera's a little out of focus. Let's see if I can focus it in. Okay, so here's what the old one looks like. So now the only thing you gotta do is you just put in the factory harness. You just clip it in right there and then pop this new one in the same way we popped the other one out and then you'll have the Nissan logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the clip in. I'm gonna have to use both hands for that. And then I'll show you guys me putting it back up and in the car. Okay, so now I have it clipped back in. You can kind of see the Nissan logo right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me focus it up. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it in. Okay, just like that. And now I'll get up so you guys can see the Nissan logo. So there's what it looks like. So that's a really cool, nice little touch. I'll get back away from the car. Really cool little nice touch compared to what it did look like before. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side off camera, cause just the same thing as this side. And then we'll go ahead and start putting the LEDs in the back right here. Okay, so here's what the passenger side looks like. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the back LEDs. Okay, so these back lights are gonna be the same as my girlfriend's car. You're gonna go ahead and put your pry tool in right here and then pop them out. Okay, so just like that. And then you'll just pull the rest of the way down. And then there's your cover. So now we'll go ahead and pull out the old bulb. And it's really hot, so let me go grab a towel. Okay, so now we've got the old bulb out. Now we'll go grab one of our LEDs. From back here. And again, I'll show you guys the company we're using. It's small top again. So there's what their logo looks like. 
they're on Amazon. They're a really good brand. I actually have their LED headlights in my high beams of my car if you guys hadn't seen that video. So we'll go ahead and grab one of the LEDs. We'll bring it over here. And we'll pop it in. Just like that. So as you can see, it's a lot brighter. Now we'll just go ahead and take the cover. And we'll pop it back on. Okay, just like that. So now we'll go ahead and switch the other side. There's a quick little comparison for you. You guys can see what it looks like over there compared to over here. A lot brighter and cleaner light. And now it'll match the front because those came stock with LEDs in those. Okay, so here's what they look like both switched. Quick little comparison. It's a lot cleaner on the seats and stuff. They look a lot better and then they'll match the front ones. So there's what the front ones look like. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll go to the trunk now and we'll do the license plate and the trunk bulb. All right, so now we're back at the trunk. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like first before we put the LED in. So there's kind of the light you're getting. All right, so now on this one, it's actually the exact same as my girlfriend's car. So you're gonna want to go ahead and pull this. There's a little clip right here. You pull it back this way and then pull down and it'll open it up. And then you'll just go ahead and grab the bulb. Pull it out. And then let me grab my light right here so I can see. And now we'll just get one of our LEDs and put it back in its place. Okay, so right there, as you guys can see, it didn't turn on, so the polarity's backwards. So go ahead and pull it out, twist it around, put it back in. Okay, and then you'll just take and push that clip back over. So let's turn off the work light real quick. And there's what the trunk looks like with the LED. So just a lot cleaner light and it's actually filling up up in there a little bit better. It's hard for cameras to really pick up light. But anyway, so there's what it looks like. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this cover off. We'll take this clip out and this clip out. Okay, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and pulled those clips out. And for the rubber pieces, the back trunk part right here, trunk liner, it actually goes over those, so you don't have to worry about pulling those out at all. So we'll just go ahead and we'll pull it down, and then I'll show you guys switching out the other bulbs. So let me go ahead and get this down off camera because I don't, I need two hands so I can pull it evenly so I don't mess it up. Okay guys, so what I actually figured out is there's a couple more clips like these right here on the inside. So there's one right here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to, have to pull off all those seven so this can come down. So that way you can see where the license plate lights are. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those out off camera, and then we'll put the bulbs in. So I actually didn't see that before. Okay, so as you guys can see, I got the trunk liner down. The only thing you need to work around, pretty much everything falls down, except right here where this like manual safety pull is for your trunk. Um, just pull it down just like this and just hold it back and then it'll slide through it. But anyway, so I went ahead and I pulled the light bulbs out for you guys, but they're actually right up in here just like that. And you're just gonna twist them and then they'll come right out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch the bulbs real quick. So just grab and pull the bulb out. And grab your LED. I'm trying to get the camera to focus real good. And then you'll take and you'll push it right back in. 
just like that. Now I'm actually gonna go turn on the lights real quick so we can make sure the polarity's right on it. Okay. So, as you can see, the polarity's not right because that one's on. So we're just gonna take and pull it back out, flip it around, and then we'll put it back in. So, there's the LED and then there's the old light. So as you can see, a lot brighter. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this bulb. We're gonna pull it out and grab another LED. Just like that, and we'll put it in. Okay, so just like that. And then you'll just put it right back up in. I'll have to use both hands, but put it right back up in and then twist it and make it lock. So anyway, the lights went off because the headlights went off. But anyway, so we'll do that and I'll show you what the license plate looks like. Okay, so there's what the trunk lights look like. A lot better than the old bulbs. I know I didn't show you a before, but I mean, I'm sure you can go out to your car and see what it looks like before. But a lot cleaner. So anyway, now we can go ahead and you'll just put this back together the same way. So you'll put all the clips up and um, make sure the this little poor harness goes through good. And then after you get that all up, the project will be done. Well, I almost forgot to tell you guys where I got the bulbs from. Again, I got, used the same company as my girlfriend's car, Small Top. They're on Amazon and they're a really, really good company. I have headlights by them. So you can see the logo a little bit better right there. But they send this card with it, it's just a thank you card. Um, and it just kind of talks to you a little bit, like a little message. But anyway, so Small Top again, they make a really good product. Make sure you guys go check them out. All right guys, so I got the back completely put back together. Um, just doing little things like this will really help your car um, look a lot different out. I mean, just like these lights right here, it took us a couple seconds, I mean, to do that. Um, and that's gonna make a big difference because people are gonna notice stuff like that. Um, and it's good just to make all your interior lights match. Um, we just put in all the LEDs and then having the trunk or the license plate lights make a really big difference. Um, another thing I was gonna tell you guys is if you hadn't noticed already, um, the quality of this video should be a lot better. This is a different camera. This is actually my girlfriend's dad's camera. He's let me borrow you a little bit to uh, maybe see if it's better footage. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video camera better or not, I kind of have to autofocus so sometimes stuff's a little blurry because the autofocus makes like a noise so it messes with the sound. But if you guys like this a lot better, just let me know and I'll start using this camera more often when I can. Um, but anyway, other than that, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel because it always helps me. And um, make sure you're sharing these videos with your friends. I mean, anything helps me, guys. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true.